Questions which we can ask. Must I have the test? Like you said, it was not necessary. So it will set the mind rolling. You may, get you you may not get in. I think it, yeah. it also depends. So you have already. Have big doctor anyway. <laughs> must I have the no. I have my problem now. Whenever anything is prescribed or told me, I go on Google search and check it. I would, I think, take that further. Okay. Google search is not a perfect yes, sign. Yes. Uh, it will give you some indication. There are a lot of other sites or you could come to Help yeah. Library's website which will give you a correct uh, way to follow because we, we already have a lot of information, uh, evidence-based research information. Google is, anybody just puts up and will come across, it will always confuse you. We have to pay for it. No, you approach the newspaper that they will give you the space. See, it's in public interest. It will increase the circulation of it in newspaper. Yeah. I think it's so much about... Do you know somebody? Do you know somebody whom I can approach? We can do that. Or maybe a community can go forward and start... Wellness, wellness, all the cancer will just start with When we have a public meeting, we send the investments to Mumbai Khan in Pratikash, at Azhar Mehta. They charge 5 and they give it to the audience. They also have a public... They also have a list... They give to all newspapers. It's got email, fax, mobile, and name and address of all the newspapers. This is Mumbai Patrakar. Mumbai Marathi Patrakar Sun. Office is the place. No, I think I've seen it's a small office outside the Maidan. See where they have this place. Just next to the press. I think I should visit them. See where they have the agitation at Azad Maidan. Just immediately after that. There's a bus stop in that solar source. Yeah, that bus stop. There's a Congress office. Yeah, that Congress office. So it's a good, it's a very good suggestion. It's like, it's like taking action in the right direction. And the consumer association, they do have every month. 
It is very erratic. We send it to all the newspapers. Uh, it's very erratic. Uh, we are sending them every day. Times, <laughs> DNA, Mitty. Yeah. It's not even once a week. They have only a column that we have been in the media. You can also have a TV channel, have a small talk with Dr. Malpani or somebody. See, what that means? This medium you have to use for mass communication. We tried this one and uh, we were asked to pay a lot of money for this. Well, <laughs> a lot of money. A lot of money. Radios we have tried. It comes on and off. It comes in the radios, yeah. They do that. They do that. Very often. They have links on to Rotary and the Lions Club, you know, and have your people who are guest lecturer. I think so there is a program and uh, we are there. Hello, doctor. I see one program there. So there, the doctor is the doctor can speak in Marathi. So the general is the Marathi. It's a good one. I think there is a channel called Care also which picks up. These are all channels who want us to pay them for the programs. We had a lot of talks and I mean I would not like to highlight the channels, it's not a forum for uh, that kind of uh, thing. So how do I prepare? So one more thing is that, one another important thing, I think we are getting lost in the, the malpractices. Uh, what we also as patients need to decide and to need to understand when we go to the doctors, we need to ask them, there are some tests need some preparations. Like for example, you go for a... Like for men, when they go for the heart, the ECG, they, are, they need to just shave off a little part of their uh, body so that the tests come out well. So these are things and suddenly if you are not aware of these kind of things and you just go to the doctor, just go for the test, you, are, you have to even end up coping with these little, little irritants, you know. I think many of you must have faced this because my husband recently went for a corporate uh, annual examination and he came back very unhappy. He said, oh, she, she, I, I, I don't like this and all. I said, you should have found out first before you went so that this irritation, this factor would not have entered your this and it would have been a more peaceful uh, medical examination for you. Thoda thoda kar, both irritation tha usko, but uh, they do that. They did and he was very unhappy. So, Different tests have different kind of preparations which we need to go. Say, oh, maybe fasting. You must be going for fa fast uh, with fasting. Some people have to have a meal and then go. So these are the things which you need to talk to the doctor before you go for your tests. And when will you know the test results? It's just a matter of formality to us because normally that now now there's pat labs they give it to you in one hour or they put it up on their website you have to just log in and uh, with your password and just check it out yeah it is our responsibility to know what time the pat lab will make it available to you for example if you just given a test and without asking you come out and suddenly at say after two hours you go back for your test you may be disappointed because and, and it's unnecessary hassle for you because you come again on, after two hours to do something, but I finish your other work and then gone back. So if you know I have to be there at five, so you'll, en you'll ensure that, okay, you know at five o'clock I have enough time to get back and can I collect it tomorrow morning because it's convenient to me, it may, may not be that urgent. So it's okay. Or they'll tell you ki log on and in one hour's time you'll come to know. So that will save you a lot of hassles in going back and getting the test. The doctor will be able to help you with these questions. Or will my insurance cover, cover, will my insurance cover the cost of tests? So all these information you should know beforehand. Will I have to take the tests again? So a lot of times we have to keep going back for the test to ensure that the medicine has worked for us. So the doctor will tell you, say after a month or after, so you are at ease. You are at ease and this will all lead to patient satisfaction which this, is the go ultimate goal is. This you ask the test people. You can ask your doctor also. Yes. Yeah. You have created a rapport. We can ask the possibilities. Yes. Yes. For example, for diabetes, you would like to ask your doctor for a diabetes test. You would like to ask your doctor when again next do I do the test. 
Say it, it is normal. Suppose today your stress yeah. is normal. You have forgotten to ask your doctor when again I take. So I left wondering at home whether I should go after six months or whether I should do it after a month or after two months. Or, so it puts you at ease and you are a satisfied patient and a smart patient at the end of it. These are our responsibilities. These are in our hands. Yeah. What is not in our hands is the path lab and the doctor and that and that and that. if at the doctor's clinic we get into this this chakkar of asking these questions, then we are lost out on our valuable time. We are paying for it. Yes, yes. So these are in our hands to uh, get the best medical care for ourselves. Another thing is the line of treatment. What is my treatment? What are the choices? You may have several choices. The doctor may say one, but if you, it's good if you understand what are the different choices available. They may tell you, they may not, but it is up to us to at least ask. If we don't ask, no one will tell us. What are the benefits and risks of each treatment? Yeah, you need to know that. What are the side effects? How good is each treatment? Side effects also is very important to know. We had spoken about this last time also. How good is each treatment? Means how will this benefit as against that? Which treatment is most common for my condition? So it will also put you at ease. Oh, you have taken the right decision. Ultimately, it is your decision also to go through that particular treatment. So which is most commonly used? What is the doctor says? Oh, I've had hundreds of these cases. It puts me so much at ease because you know that the doctor has seen so many cases and he's referring this treatment to me. So I will be okay. What do I do if the treatment fails? This is one thing which this doubt will come to us if we have not asked this question to the doctor. After we go back, then we are <laughs> then we are struggling to call up the doctor and talk. Even that is what that is what we should be doing, but. It's very difficult then. Make things easy for ourselves. What kind of medications I must take? This obviously we have already taken our medical packets, our tablets to show the doctor. <laughs> what kind of medication must I take? How long? How does the drug do? What does the drug do? What will happen to me? How, how will it help me to get better? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so he would have, he or she would have told you that okay, this is a likelihood, you know, you assumed. So these are responsibilities, really. It's, it's like we are hassling ourselves if you are not asking such questions. What should I do if I have the side effects? What should I do? Because, like you said, you are feeling very drowsy. So you either sleep it out or what else can you do about it? Yeah. It's quite a situation to be in because you don't know whether it's because of your ailment or it's because of the tablets. Will the medicine interact with any that I am already taking? We all like to take our Ayurvedics and our uh, vitamins. We all love to do that. Yeah, we have, we have to tell them. Yes. Yes, what we'll have. A lot of Ayurvedic drugs are, suppo are known to have created problems. Yeah. We love to do that. Should I avoid any kind of food or activity while taking this medicine? Like, uh, you would have saved your day. <laughs> okay. Or do I need a follow-up session with you? Or do I need to see a specialist? Now, say if you're talking to your GP, you know, so you should ask. You should ask. It's a matter of uh, getting better. It's about you getting better. Should I get a second opinion? 